Since nobody likes to read, but everybody likes to know about things, let's try a Star Wars video review. I'm Adam Paulus with GalacticHunter.com, and this is Shay Vizsla, part of a new wave of Star Wars vintage figures, which right now you can't find. This figure is a female bounty hunter from the Old Republic video game. It's an MMO, which means you have to pay by the month, which means I'm not playing it. The figure is a Mandalorian, which means that, clearly, you want her. She comes on a card back that looks a lot more like the old ones than the recent new ones do, and she has a removable sticker on the front for a Darth Maul contest. This is what she looks like without the sticker, and the artwork is, of course, quite nice. Unlike other figures in the line, the character has a character portrait rendered by game artists, but how is the figure? The figure's pretty good. She comes with a helmet, a couple of guns, a couple of flames. It's more gear than you're used to, especially since the figure is heavily painted. Rather than going the let's mold her in a grayish silver look, they molded her in more or less black and painted her with a lot of silver, giving her a much richer look. She has that order form for the contest, who cares, but the close-up of the head is really nice. You can see she's got red hair, kind of an angry expression on her face, but look at the detail. Look at the gold, look at the silver. There's a little blue, some purplish color, a lot of red. They went all out on painting this figure, and she looks way better than most of the other figures in the line. Even her backpack has paint. They didn't skip it. Look at the little canister on her back. It's blue and white. Looking at the figure from all angles, you can see there's quite a bit of detail. They didn't skimp just because the back isn't something you see when she's in the package. The gauntlets have a good amount of work on them. Uh, you'll notice there's little red tips on the shoulder armor, and of course some gold up there. And the articulation is what you'd expect from a figure these days. 14 points. Uh, there are no bend and swivel wrists, but it's pretty good. She even has a place to plug in flames on her gauntlets. They plug in quite nicely on both hands, but they do tend to sag just a little bit because of gravity. But they look great! The heads are removable heads. They are not removable helmets. And as you can see, the helmet fits on the neck peg just fine. There's detail on the back as well. And from all angles, it just looks pretty fantastic. She has a couple of guns. These are also nicely painted, and they are different sculpts. The backpack is removable. It plugs right into her back hole, and here she is next to some other figures like Darth Malgus and uh, Roland Dyer, a couple of female Mandalorians from an Entertainment Earth set. It's a pretty good figure. I like it a lot. I think you should get it. This figure is available at EntertainmentEarth.com unless you're in the future, and this review is produced for GalacticHunter.com by 16bit.com. This is Adam Paulus saying, get the hell out of my house!